CBS 13's Madison Keevy is getting answers tonight on possible changes for future games. Madison. Yeah, so the question is just how many fans did Doko and Downtown see over those first two playoff games? Well, to give you an idea, if you didn't see our coverage, I would not be able to do what I'm doing right now because this area was packed with fans. But the question now for some, was it more than Downtown could handle? We know Kings fans have been ready for this, but is downtown Sacramento prepared for the playoff sized crowds? We are definitely ready. I think the one thing that was really nice is I was able to get some feedback from our staff and our team that was boots on the ground those two nights. Tina Lee Vogt is Sacramento's nighttime economy manager. This is a first playoffs at G1C, smack dab in the middle of the city's downtown. With it, lessons learned game to game. So there's some minor tweaks we need to make on egress just because when you're trying to move that many people, it's a little bit of a challenge. But for the most part, it was really smooth. So how many fans showed up and showed out? G1C had around 18,000 people. The Doko Plaza, another 5,000. And the Section 916 watch party, 2,000 fans. And there's so many people and you have to be aware. And, but you know, it seems like the last two games, everything's went good. Add to those numbers of around 25,000 fans, more out to see the beam shine after wins, which caused traffic delays and slowdowns on the exit. We ended up staying in that area uh, that was just only maybe, I don't know, 100 feet long, and it took us about 20 minutes. These are big games, they're big events. I literally felt like the entire city of Sacramento was in the downtown area on Saturday. It was great to see, so just please be patient. Changes to the plan for this many people for future playoff games in Sacramento. Focus will be on the flow of traffic and the crowds when it's over. Now, there were a lot more fans down here, but I'm told by those involved in security and moving people through that it felt kind of like an everyday Kings game as far as when it comes to incidents. Now, as far as those changes, the big focus is going to be getting people in and out with crowds of that size in future playoff games.